Hi everyone, this is Johnny Onos, and I'm playing Project Zomboid version 35.12, and in this Let's Play episode, we are going to try to find some food, as well as look for some stuff in this general area, which is kind of like the very furthest north suburb of Meldraw. So let's go see if we can find a uh, little, little food here or there. Some chocolate is great. It's non-perishable foods just being wasted away. Very sad. Very sad. This is, oh, mac and cheese. That's probably the best. Non-perishable food. It's probably second to about the, the unholy cupcake that can stay forever. Forever fresh. Forever fresh cupcakes. Oh, we got two uh, fresh frozen ice creams. Oh. Oh, let's just eat one and take the other. That way we got enough food. How are we doing on weight? We're, we're almost down to 100. Oh, I got another chocolate. We got some canned foods. Oh, don't want to put that in my main inventory. And some chips. Let's just take a can opener just in case we don't have one at the warehouse. All right. Fresh new day starting at 10 in the morning. We've killed 1,400 zombies. Been alive for 24 days. Hasn't even been a month. I feel like I've been with, I've been with Helen for so long, but it really hasn't been a month yet. I think it's because of the fact that I haven't felt the need to do the grinding. Oh god, look how many there are over there. Uh, I haven't felt the need to do any like carpentry grinding at all because of the fact that we've uh, we spent a lot, lot less time building our carpentry skill because of the fact that this whole uh, disassembly thing really makes it more efficient just to disassemble a bunch of furniture instead of uh, like chopping wood forever. So, um, I normally, like, within the first month, I'm kind of ready to do, like, a month's worth of grinding, of, uh, carpentry grinding. But this time, I mean, look at this. I haven't done any grinding whatsoever, and our carpentry is already up to level, looks like, seven? Yep, seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, yep. Now, let's see what's going on in this house. has some boxes in there. Not lucky enough to have a key or have it unlocked. There we go. An alarm? Nope. So apparently, uh, watering can is always good. Welding rods? I have no idea what welding rods does yet. Cabbage? Definitely need cabbage seeds. Because that's what we're going to be using for farming as our way of grinding that skill up super fast. Ugh, so many boxes, no sledgehammers. That's okay. We got. We have any uh, bathroom zombies? Nope. Scariest zombies of them all are the dreaded bathroom zombies. We've got like a fresh pineapple here. Let's eat that. It just uh, eating into the green moodlet it feels so so pointless because the green moodlet does not last very long at all. Like, but we were full. We are full up with maybe like a dark green moodlet at, t at 10 o'clock in the morning. We're, we're just at 11 now and the moodlet was gone. All right, these are two fast shamblers, so we're gonna have to push them down. Good job, Helen. Oh God. Oh God, oh my God. Didn't get hit. All right, it's ax time. All right, it's definitely ax time. I was really surprised of those where those guys were coming from. All right, what am I doing? Freaking out. Deep breath. Deep breath. All right, let's do this. Poor Helen has had a couple of rough days, and Johnny knows is just not not focused. Oh my lord. Yep, I knew the North was crazy. But some. Oh God. Nope. Took some slight damage there. Uh, that nimble skill of ours is uh, is definitely saving our bacon. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, wrong button. 
clicking wrong buttons on fences too. That's just great. All right, come on, Helen. Compensate for Johnny O Nose's terrible playing skills. All right, we got a crawler. Just keep an eye on that guy. Yeah, thanks a lot, music. Every time I start feeling scared, that music just knows exactly when to pop on. Oh, that was a lot of zombies. That was a lot of zombies. I haven't used coal yet for these... Oh, hi. For these barbecues, but apparently you can use coal to power those. So I wonder if you have to, like, put the coal in and then light it up. Just, I mean, how would that be that much different than, say, like a campfire? But I'm, I'm interested. I'll, I'll give it a try. All right, let's switch back to the kitchen knife. All this music adds like this <sighs> noise in the background, which makes me think there's just something behind me. All right, do we have like a bedroom or something like that? Bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. All right, cool. Rest. Rest. Click on the bed. All right, cool. Our exertion is completely gone. Our what little damage we had is gone. And why are we overburdened? Because we have the axe in our main inventory, that's why. Alright. Let's see what we got. Garbage bag. And some matches. Always oh, bring the matches. Don't need strawberries. Mm, let's see another pineapple. Hopefully we don't get sad. Alright, we didn't get sad. Bought some books. No books. Not a book, big book reader. A uh, little house. Okay. Let's head on over here. And I think there's like garages in this area. There's definitely one right there. I'm not seeing a uh, a window on the side. So we may be SOL with this particular garage. Oh, nope. We are good to go. Looks like there's a box in there. Oh, lots of boxes. Come on, baby. Give us a sledgehammer. We desperately need one. Ah, uh -huh. just lots of hammers. I have so many hammers, I could probably melt down the head and make a gigantic sledgehammer out of it. But no, no sledgehammers. Just lots of small hammers. Wah. All right, let's just take a quick look in here. Well, that's interesting. Look at the hardwood walls here. The brick on the outside, that's that's nice looking. It's like a country home type thing. Very interesting interior. I'm exerted from trying to open this window. Really? All right, we're gonna break it. We're gonna break it. Smash the window. I don't think there's any zombies around to hear us. No alarm went off. Mm, electricity for beginners. I'm pretty sure I have it. I know I have fishing. I shouldn't be picking these up. Okay. I don't know if we have it. And we're full up with... Um, we're full. We are full. So it looks like we're going to have to head back. Ooh, fresh chicken. All right, let's just see what we can get in here and then get the flock out of here. For some reason, I'm expecting sledgehammers just to just appear. <laughs> I don't know why. We really need to start heading. That's probably what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to head over to the west to the lumber yard that's there. And if there's no sledgehammer there, then yeah. There's no sledgehammer at all in this southern town. We'll have to go all the way north. I just can't believe that we haven't found one yet. Just doing a quick look for another garage. There's a really cool house up here, though. 
that has a uh, computer generated wall most around it. And really to secure it, all you have to do is put like two, two walls down. Come on, open, please. Uh. And I know that house has a shed and this one looks like there's a shed right here too. Hello zombies. Any more of you around? Any more that I need to be worried about? Doesn't seem like a shed. That seems like more like a... I don't know what that is. Check around us. We're doing the stompy stompy dance. Drop that. And uh, we're going to use this axe. So which so this axe has already been repaired once. So once this one is done, it is done done. So that will give us another three uh, kilos of uh, inventory space. Hey, what's going on, guys? Not much? Not much, huh? Kind of chilling. Chilling in here? All right. Oh, there was two slots. I saw two bookcases. All right, nothing in there. Then we have a zombie over here. That's a lurking. Yeah, there's that house. Well, you can check that house too. It's a really great opportunity to be able to, to check these houses because this air, these areas are normally chalk filled with zombies because of that. There's that uh, computer generated wall. I thought I saw a window here. Yep, yeah, there it is. Because of that computer generated wall, there tends to be a lot of pooling of zombies in this general area. Ooh, really? Oh, that's that. I'm alright with that. Make some fishing stuff now. Alright with that. So this area tends to capture a lot of zombies that are moving from the forest area or from the north. So uh, the fact that we had that alarm go off right next to the um, the warehouse um, has definitely cleared this portion of the neighborhood out and maybe the walled-in area a little bit south of here. So we want to check that too. But like right here, this is a really, really prime, primo spot to make... Is it primo enough for us? I really want to take this house. Oh, this is a small house. There really isn't anything here other than this wall. I know a lot of people have made really amazing looking bases out of it, but I do not want to spend too much time here because the biggest problem with the computer generated walls is that the zombies will completely ignore it. Now, that may be good for some, and it may be good in a lot of different situations, such as like in the early game right now. Like right now, this would be a, a fantastic place to put down a, uh, a safe house. And something that we should do, I just don't have... Oh, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's debatable. Let's rest up. Let's rest up while the doors are open, the windows open. That's a good idea, Johnny O'Nose. Mmm, cereal. Fantastic. Canned carrots. More canned carrots. Some good stuff in here. I'm just totally bummed that we didn't get a sledgehammer. So what I think I'm going to do is instead of um, putting a safe house down here, we're going to head back to the warehouse because we have a good amount of non-perishable food on us right now. We have a good amount of non-perishable food on us. Okay, cool. Here we got mac and cheese. We got a peanut butter. We got tuna fish. We got... Yeah, we've got like maybe like a half a week worth of food on us right now. And I think that's all we're going to need to do the big adventure to the west. Now, the real question is, is how many zombies are now over by the warehouse now that we set off that alarm? That is the big question of the day. Hoping not to pull any more additional zombies closer to our new safe house. But um, maybe what we'll do is we'll check out to see how many zombies are there. 
we'll store all this non-perishable food and then we're going to head west to the uh the lumber yard which will allow us to if we can't find a sledgehammer there i just don't know what to say i really don't i really really don't I'm just gonna start crying to myself now so that is going to be our last try at kind of trying to find a sledgehammer in this the southern town of Muldraw. I mean, sure, there's sheds here and there. That's kind of what I was looking for in this episode. But as you can see, it's just a lot of just junk that it's just going to take a lot of time to loot. And right now we're on limited time because of the fact that we don't have farming and we don't have we don't even have a farm ready. We don't have anything ready to go. So we've got to really think about the long term here. We're now into August, August 2nd. So it's really time to start thinking about putting something down because it, it takes about like a month. It takes about a month. Oh, another axe. All right. The, gim the, 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 the game take it and give it. I'm all right with that. Let's just go ahead and drop this axe. This axe pretty much done and we'll take this axe to keep going thank you so much so now we don't have a sledgehammer we have a, pl a plethora of axes there's nothing wrong with that how's our blade skill going all right maintenance is almost up a level we have the tent kit so let's just head back to the warehouse and see what kind of horde is waiting for us over there. Keep on walking this way. If we weren't so close, I would fast forward this, but we are very close. And there's probably just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of zombies to have to kill too. Oh, it's close. Guys in purple. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's how many zombies are close by. Yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure this is you know, really that safe anymore. Staying in, I mean it's already it was already like really not safe to begin with. But um I wish I I think we do have a shotgun. There is a shotgun in there. All right, let's kill. Ah, oh, there's just too many of them. I'm going to kill until we get exerted. And then let's see. <laughs> We're already exerted. First hit. First hit exerted. Oh my goodness. I wasn't I was not aware that trying to open Oh my god. Ah! I can't believe we got away again. Do we? Do we get hit? Oh, we took some slight damage. That is nuts. Okay. Oh man, guys, I don't know what to do. I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna head back south. I think that's the only option at this point, because there's zombies. Who knows how many are inside? That that alarm, like that. That's those are two alarms now. That have migrated zombies to this general area and they're just there's just way too many of them right now to have to deal with so i'm going to go ahead and stop the episode a little bit early and then we're going to reconvene once i've had an opportunity to bring all this stuff that we have on us right now back to our main safe house because this place is just not safe whatsoever like even if we were to if, if we spent time securing that that warehouse, it'd be completely unsecure right now. There's just way too many zombies up here. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here. We, uh, you know, we got another axe. We've got some good, good amount of per uh, non-perishable food. We got an electronics magazine. I think we had like another magazine that we picked up too, which was totally worth the trip. But this place is just completely overrun. And I'm going to have to find a way to sneak into that Oh, we still need the sledgehammer from the west side, from the, the lumber yard. But maybe, you know what? 
that actually might be what we can do right now. Instead of whining and complaining about it, we got the tent kit. This is a cutoff area into, I think so. Let me see. Yeah, this is a cutoff through the forest that can take us to the, the lumber yard. Let's do that. All right, let's do that. We got food. We may not have space for a lot of stuff, but we just need to find a sledgehammer. <laughs> That's really all we have to do. So if we keep heading west, we're, we're still tired right now. If we head west, we may be able to hit the lumber construction yard area. And given that all those zombies have been migrated over to that area, it may make it a decent place to build that that farm that we're talking about. I mean, it's really far from town, so the you know grinding out skill there would be really easy. Uh, we would just if we'd be a little bit low on supplies, I would assume. But um, but yeah, let me let me see. I think it's over in this area. This is definitely not a good time to be lost. But the good thing is we have a tent, so if we need to sleep, we're good to go. But man, that... We've been really unlucky with those alarms, though. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how unlucky we've been with those alarms. We had an alarm at the warehouse itself, and then we had an alarm right next to the warehouse. So basically... Any of the zombies in that northern area of the map are basically right there. But it could open up some opportunities for us to, to loot a little bit further south. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward time here. I think we're already there. We are already there. This is the logging company to the south. We want to head to the north. Just doing a bit of walking. And we're not exerted anymore. And we're exerted again. But that's twice now that I think our nimble skill saved us. Like the nimble skill allows you to get out of the grasp of zombies. And I think I think that's what saved us right there. Once again, it, it, it allowed us to get away from those zombies in time to be able to just keep moving. And we do have a pretty good amount... Oh. Okay, almost finished his animation. Alright. Yeah, this is what we're looking for up here. Which is the kind of like the warehouse area for the logging company. And we can take a look at it and see kind of if we wanted to do a farm here, how much work would it be? Because there are multiple buildings. There's the one here. Oh, there is the fact that these these buildings are completely flat on top too. So we could, if we had a sledgehammer, we could easily make some stairs to go to the roof and we can use that as our kind of base of operations. So let's go ahead and kill this zombie here and just take a quick look at this other building over here. So we've got a tent. We've got some non-perishable food. Uh, I think... Look at this place. It's just gigantic. We can dig up all of... We can dig up the dirt. We can drop dirt here. We've got a fence. Let's see how far the fence goes. Let's see. We just got this random fence right here. So we could either do like re like kind of square off this fence here and then maybe kind of live up in this area. Well, I'll have to see. Well, once again, this place is extremely far from any supplies. So we're basically looking at having to bring all those supplies up here each time we want to move items. And that's that itself is going to be a ton of work. So what we can do is instead is just look for that sledgehammer. Try to get back home. And um, yeah, 
that's going to be it for uh, this episode. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to say goodbye now, but I'm going to go through each one of these boxes and in fast forward motion. And if I find a sledgehammer, I'm going to stop and say, yay. Or uh, if I don't find one, I'm going to go, wah, wah, wah. And uh, either way, this will be the end of the episode. So thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboid version 35.12. Uh, if you have any questions about Project Zomboid or any of the other games that I support, please go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. All right, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to check all these boxes extremely thoroughly, and I'll have it really sped up so you guys can see everything that I do. All right, here we go. All right, folks, we found one. We found one. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here. And uh, out of all those boxes, this is the only one we found so far. Watch me find another one when we um, when we look at this, look through this place a little bit more thoroughly. All right, folks, Johnny Onos playing Project Zomboid version 35.12. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.